Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Michael Amboa. Today I'm going to show you something that uh, very many designers using Akikad uh, really struggle with. So um, imagine that this was my this was uh, something that I was working on uh, in 3D. It looks like this. Let's go back to 2D on ground floor because this is where I want our focus to be. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to we are going to we are going to to, the, uh, to to do something about layers and how to put different elements to layers. So I'm going to cover about the layer combination, how to create a new layer combination how to create a, a new layer and how to add layer to layer combination and as well we can see how to create view sets so with all that said and done before we embark on all that uh, if you're new to this youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also share uh, our youtube channel with your friends uh, so we can get started so what, what do layers really do and what are layers? So uh, layers, uh, layers, um, it's like uh, we, we, we have a different, it's, it's like a group where, 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 where we, can, we can pack. It's like actually, let me call it a bag where we can pack our things. So for example, you have that bag where you can pack, um, you can pack the clothes, then you have that bag that you can put the laptop and the like when you're traveling. So a layer, uh, I've just done, uh, just say that because we have actually different layers. Let's just go there. So to go there manually without using the, the shortcut control L, you go to option element attributes, then we have the layer. Okay, so you eat there, then we have the layer combinations and we have layers. So this is, this is what I'm just saying. The layer combination, it's like the bag. And these are like the items that you want to pack in that bag. Okay. So what do you, what, what do, do I actually say? So in the site, uh, if I eat the site, these are, uh, if I, how I eat the, the, the drafting layer, these are some of the things, and you can see they are they all have the uh, the eye open, <laughs> like I'm just saying it's not hidden. So we have all that at the approval stage. We have some which are hidden. At detail, we have some which are uh, open and others that are hidden. So this is like a bug. So now let's create a layer combination, and I'm going to show you what I actually mean. So let's, for example, create a working. A working, uh, a working drawings layer, layer combination. And let's create another one. Uh, let's call this one uh, presentation. 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 Presentation layer or drawing. That's okay. So now that we have all these, uh, we have different uh, as, uh, okay let's uh, let's first eat okay um, okay no so with that uh, we we have we can actually add a new layer here uh, if it's something we want to show that is uniquely in our work that we want to show for example let's say we don't want to work with the, the layers they have given right here but let's just say that we want to work with them so what do i mean okay let me just eat okay so um, you as you have seen uh, something has disappeared the mop uh, the site and terrain has disappeared that means it's probably i've had it it's, it's okay it's not shown uh, in the layer so let's say this this uh this car here the furniture the the uh, uh these ones they all lie in different layers. The, the, this is under dimension in layer general. If I hit the elevation shown here, it's in a marker elevation tool. Uh, if I hit this one, it's also in a certain layer. So now that I've shown you how to create the layers, I want, you, I want to show you how to add uh, different elements to those layers 
and how that is going to affect uh, your output from a key card. So, as I started by telling you, a layer is like a bug. So, a layer combination is like a bug. So, in this bug, we want to, to be able to eat from this bug and show different things. Uh, okay, so let's go to a working layer. From a working layer, I want to show, actually, from a working layer, it's like I just want to show almost everything, but let's hide the furniture from the working layer, okay? Uh, let's, uh, okay, let's see what else we can hide from the working. So let's not hide the site. Let's not hide, hide the site. So now let's update and hit OK. So now we are, we are in, a, in our site. Uh, we are in our working layer combination. So right here, you, as you can see, we have, uh, we have eliminated the furniture. We have also added this. Uh, we also have our, our dimensions. We also have this one the elevation the elevation shown so imagine that we want to eliminate some things here and show them to our client so for example if you're going to present this work to your client at the first time you you, you don't want to show him the 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 net dimensions so that he can just snap it and you don't have a contract anymore because he has the dimension and he has the grasp of what you're about to present so imagine we want to hide all these dimensions. We also want to hide the elevations, but we want to put. Uh, okay, we can we can put the furniture, or we can either ignore that we don't want to show the client the furniture. So what do we do? Uh, hit Control L again. Now this is the presentation layer. So under the presentation layer. Uh, there are some things that we, we have said we, we don't want to show. So, for example, we don't want to show the dimensions. Um, we don't want to show the dimensions. We, we also don't want to show... Uh, we, we, can, we can show the, the furniture. Uh, let's show the furniture. But let's not show the markers. Let's not show the elevations. Either the sections, whether we I hate the sections, uh, let's not show that, but okay. Let's also not show the the site or the mop, so we can hide that as well. So the other things, let's leave them as they are. So after doing that, it's always important to know that you should always update and eat okay. So this is how it looks like. So it looks like that. So now, uh, if you are going to, to present this work to your client, this is what you, you would have done. And uh, instead of having to... You see, now, now that you have understood uh, how to do layers and layer combinations, it will be very easy to, to arrange your work, even in the office, even anywhere you are. It will be very easy to arrange this work, uh, depending on... Who wants to assess that work and this when you have all these in layers it's it's very uh, it's highly accessible so let's let's do something else um, I want us to save now this one this one is under um, the presentation so I want us to save this in a, this we save the current view set so this is a dialog box that comes your way. So now we, we want to show this. Uh, we, can, we can either decide on how we want to show it. Uh, as you can see, it's under the layer. Uh, it's under the presentation layer. Then we can... Okay, the dimensioning, it's in play meter. Let's change this to the plane millimeter. The current zoom in, you can adjust it or you can either fit it to window. Then uh, let's leave the others as they are. We can also change the, the, the scale and you will see, uh, depending on how you change, okay, like 1 is to 50 is a big scale, so let's choose that one and see how it, how it looks like. So, okay, okay, so create, so we now have, this is a view set, we have created a view set right here. So instead of having to 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 eat control l instead of going to eat control l and and uh, and go to your 
and eat the layer and it's okay so that it can appear on your screen you can as well uh, have it right here in the navigator you can you can just save it here so that one is going it's uh, this is called the creating new view sets where you're going to view that so let's let's so for example have this one so this is how it looked like this is how it looks like under under the working 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 layer so we we have this so just come and create a new view set as you, you've seen we have gone to this uh project map so you go to the view map then you create current view sets you can you can you can either start by adding a folder or you can just add it immediately so it's there we wanted to show in uh, the, the co layer combination it's under working drawing okay the scale we you can either narrow it uh, you can either say you want it to be one is 200 or something else then um, yeah so so you can just go and uh you can okay the name let the name be custom when you say the name to be custom you are give you you have the chance to 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 write uh, to give it a name of your own so let's let's just call it working uh, then we can leave everything as it is then we can hit okay so as you can see under the indexes we have the new view set created so now you can work at ease i can just eat that uh i have that i can just eat that and i have that so it's very easy when you're working to that client uh, you'll just go to to here and show him what you really want to show that particular client at that time so thank you very much for watching this youtube video um if you're new to this youtube channel please leave a subscribe as well you can you can support us on patreon i'm going to leave the link in the description below thank you very much